Now, current and former pupils are accusing Brackenfell High School of turning a blind eye on racism. A memorandum of complaints has been sent to the school, but the people say there's been no response or accountability. ENCA's Nobesu Tuchejana has the story. I've witnessed a lot of racism. There would be like white boys would walk down the passages and push colored girls around and say, move you, and white boys will scream out the K-word and it would be tolerated. They wouldn't get detention, nothing, not a hearing, nothing. They wouldn't be dealt with. This metric pupil says the private party that sparked protest was just the tip of the school's racist culture. She claims white pupils and teachers are often not reprimanded when they behave in a racist way. There was countless complaints that we brought to the school's attention and they didn't do anything about it. Um, I feel like the school can react in a much better way. I feel like they can actually listen to our voices and take our feelings into consideration and not just their image because that's all they actually worry about. A former rugby and cricket star at the school, Sian Tunduana, says he too experienced racism there. My sister was in the school 10 years ago and she experienced racism. Um, the, the student that called her a K-word got two days of suspension. After that, he came back to school taunting her. I matriculated in school 2016, and students that are in 2020 still experience racism just shows that racism still runs in Brackenfell, and it's managed to be a culture. The Western Cape Education Department says it's spoken to the school and pupils to ensure that those who experience or see discrimination have a way to be heard. Nabesutu Yejana, Cape Town.